Why, is there something wrong with the shield? Let me bring you up to speed on the basics. As far as I've ever seen, the shielder class that specializes in the shield... Uh -huh. ...is for losers, because no true gamers ever play it. What? How about in your worlds? Sorry, man. Shielders suck. <coughs> <coughs> By default, a right to left wind up causes us to take this position, pulling our shield from wherever it is to a touch left of center. We'll call that angle a shield offset. The process of moving our very collidable shield into this position can be used to push backhand, forehand, or even to strike. Used up in their face, the backhand movement can push your opponent's weapon away, creating an opening, like something you'd see in high level boxing. The trick to this is to dip to the right, looking to line up with the shield offset so that when you assume the position, your shield imposes on the other guy. Even without control of their weapon, simply posting my very collidable shield out there obstructs the opponent's attempts to block. I also found myself using this backhand as a spacing tool, often pushing nerds off balance, into my line of fire, or directly to the ground. So, the technique wasn't much use against other shields. Damn shields! They ruined playing a shield! Fortunately, that same arm flare position can be used to drive the shield from the left, pushing and controlling the opponent between attacks, or serving as its own attack. <laughs> He's trying to strike using the shield? That'll never... I like to set this up by rushing in behind the right, occupying my opponent's attention, and loading my shield to the left. Turning past my victim to line up the windup, assuming the position pulls my shield into him, causing physics to occur. The difference between a push and a punch is in this extra dip. It coils me up as if to wind up for my windup. I get even more punch from this dip by stepping in while I do it. though I get the most punch from this dip by using the motion to fake a left, so feint makes my right wind up faster. This move can take some practice, but it works on everyone. And dominates the scumbag mirror. Despite the offensive power, it's still just winding up, so I'm free to follow up with the offhand, leading to combos that would make a great sword player blush. Not long ago, these subscribers came up to me, these huge, muscular guys, and they said, Dr. Professor Gilson say, your voice is seductive and your technique impeccable, but I can do all that stuff with a round shield. I do not see the point of the kite shield. So I showed them the bigger picture. It's right there. Swung left. The point can be used for striking, hooking and stripping guards, or hooking and throwing people. This first of two ways to swing left relies on the left to right wind-up movement. You wind up to the right to coil up, and wind up to the left to let it rip, empowered by feint. Throwing the left step into the mix makes the swing visibly more violent. Between this and the forehand, you'll end up knocking people out left and right with the shield. It can feel kinda like... The other way to swing left is with a right to left attack. Dipping to the right after starting to wind up creates a familiar coiling effect. Throwing the right uncoils us, pulling the shield across. 
To get the most out of this, get that left step in there for that visibly increased violence. Though slower, this movement is quite solid and leads to easy takedowns. This is perfect for when your opponent tries escaping to the left, basically doing the dip for you. Since there's an actual attack behind it, hooking the arms or guard here creates a meaningful opening. Another borderline legal thing you'd see in high level boxing. Many of these moves, even botched, leave you in a position to attempt another. This is where kite combos start to make greatsword players weep. Mastery of the dirty kiting style creates an impressive, never-ending barrage of controlling and damaging blows that rob the opponent of a chance to fight back. Also, you can do spin and shit. This has been Gil Games Hello. Goodbye.